Ladies and gentlemen, they're not going to go with Joe Biden. There are many reasons why they're not. Hillary Clinton is going to be the nominee. I know it doesn't seem like that right now. Um, just the other day, Bernie Sanders was the clear frontrunner who was going to run away with it. Do you remember that? Prior to that, Joe Biden was the frontrunner. Now Joe Bri Biden is the frontrunner again. Can you imagine when he says, um, you know, uh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Benjamin Lincoln, uh, once said the following, uh, our founding mothers, and, uh, you know, uh, founding mothers and Benjamin Lincoln, and, and uh, you, know, I, you know, I didn't know uh, uh, Thomas Garfield, but I just want to let you know that, um, um, uh, you know, John uh, Quincy uh, Clinton once, uh, you know, gave me a nice uh, pat on the back. Whatever. You know what I'm trying to get to, okay? You're talking about a couple fries short of a Happy Meal. This is not a situation... I'm not even going to get into it. The cognitive abilities alone. Um, you're talking about, you know, years and years of <laughs> playing football without a helmet and still wouldn't be up to the vice president. But anyway... Senate panel will soon release a report on Biden Burisma connections. Well, that was fun while it lasted. H.A. Uh, Goodman is right again. Second election that I've accurately predicted. NPR quoted me. I know I sound. <laughs> I sound like I'm losing my marbles, but NPR <laughs> NPR quoted me. <laughs> NPR quoted me in 2016. Okay, 2015. They quoted me and Nate Silver. The articles below. I said Clinton could not win. She would lose swing states. He said Trump wouldn't be GOP nominee. Okay, so there you go. Um, Senator Rod, Ron Johnson, the chairman of the Senate Homeland Security Committee, told reporters he will soon release an interim report on his panel's investigation into Hunter Biden's work for Ukrainian energy firm Burisma Holdings. Johnson said the report, which will also f uh, focus on what the former Vice President Joe Biden knew about his son's links to Burisma, will be released within the next month or two. Now, there are questions that Joe Biden has not answered accurately, Johnson told reports according to Politico. There are questions that Joe Biden has not answered, uh, had, has not accurately answered. What are these questions? He is already on videotape bragging about forcing a prosecutor um, to be fired. Now, Democrats and media say, well, he should have been. Well, it's not, it's not any Western country, or it's not any country's, it's not any country's right to force another prosecutor from another nation. It, it, the, Ukrainian, the Ukrainian government has jurisdiction over their officials, Joe Biden has no even if even if this Ukrainian prosecutor you know didn't uh, you know battle corruption. Well, Rudy Giuliani has a sworn affidavit from Shokin, the prosecutor that was forced out, saying that Biden acted uh, under corrupt motive or because of corrupt intent and motive. But but anyway, his son was receiving uh, around three point four million dollars. So in addition to the uh, lucid, wonderful lucid state of the vice president's pristine cranium. You're talking also about endless corruption and scandal. Now, Clinton can do anything, and Democrats will just, they'll allow it, they, not with Biden. Hillary Clinton is going to be the nominee because this was all a charade and a farce and a, and a theatrical performance, but here... And if I were a Democratic primary voter, I'd want these uh, questions uh, satisfactory, sa satisfactorily answered before I cast my final vote. Johnson and his follow, uh, fellow Senate Republican Chuck Grassley, Chuck Grassley, have for months been investigating several Ukraine-related uh, matters, including Hunter Biden's work for Burisma. Now, Biden joined the firm as a director in April 2014, despite having no energy in the uh, no experience in the energy business. Uh, the hire drew some attention at the time, in large part because Joe Biden had just taken over as the Obama administration's chief liaison to the Ukrainian government. Some of the payments were about eighty grand a month. Okay, so let's see. Um, 
He intends to uh, subpoena. So Johnson said he intends to subpoena the former uh, consultant. So they want to. So they want Hunter Biden and others to testify. Hunter Hunter Biden. All right. So this is not good. This is not good. This is very bad for for for. Um, this is extremely, extremely, extremely bad for. This, the impeachment issue, you had Marie Ivanovich, who was the ambassador, who stated that President Obama's administration gave her talking points regarding the Hunter Biden issue. Even President Obama's administration knew it was a conflict of interest. Now, we haven't even touched the surface of this. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the issue of the water bottle fell. The <laughs> the issue here is the following. You're talking about a very corrupt political party. You're talking about a very corrupt political party that has no problem going from well, Bernie Sanders is the front runner to now Joe Biden. Oh, well, no, Amy Klobuchar is a good... Amy Klobuchar and Mayor Pete, they dropped out a day before, a day or two days before Super Tuesday. Do you find that bizarre? They both met with Hillary Clinton. Everyone running aside from Bernie Sanders met with Hillary Clinton. This is a fact. This is not some kind of conspiratorial thing here. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me here, and the notion that it would be bizarre that Clinton would just come in and, and Democrats would allow that, well, yeah, they would, and media would, and it takes about three to four days to change. It takes, what, a day? Bernie Sanders was the front runner until he wasn't, then it was Biden. Well, it was Biden, then it was Bernie Sanders, after Nevada, then it was Biden after Super Tuesday, and in a couple of months, easily, it could be Clinton as the front runner or Clinton as the nominee. It's not, it doesn't take much. The media, especially for Democrats, takes about a second, takes about a second to change a Democrat's mind or to give them an alternate reality to where they say, well, this is, this is reality, this is the truth. So Clinton was going to win. She was going to be winning a landslide. Then Russia hacked. Uh, R Russia interfered in the election. It, they don't. There's no critical thinking. If you're the average Democrat, feels that he or she is the smartest person in the room. They don't realize that their lives are dependent upon media spin. The media is very, very important to the Democratic Party. Without the media, and without um, the constant, constant uh, reinforcing, uh, the, the constant, um, without media amplifying their fantasies that, well, they didn't really lose to Trump, it was really Russia, um, you know, Trump is a horrible person, the economy isn't that great, being the first president to step foot in North Korea is, isn't that you know, important. All of these things Democrats have to live in their own world. They have to live in their own world. Then you get the juicy smelliers of the world. Then you get Bill Maher wishing, hoping that there's a recession because our democracy is at stake. No, our democracy is kind of working okay. President Trump is president, thank God. Okay, if the democracy was really um, in peril, it would be because of the media spin and Democrats cheating Bernie Sanders. Debbie Wasserman Schultz was forced to resign. But here... Buttigieg and Klobuchar endorse Biden, aiming to slow Sanders. This is two days ago. Okay. Um, this is, that's the New York Times. In late February, Hillary Clinton met with Biden, Klobuchar on 2020. Okay. Uh, why is that important? What, why does that, how does that correlate? This is Dan Marica, CNN. Uh, 5.58 p.m. Eastern, okay, February 22nd, 2019. Hillary Clinton met with Biden and Klobuchar on 2020. Okay, this is a CNN article. 
Hillary Clinton held meetings in early February with former Vice President Joe Biden and Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar to talk about the 2020 presidential campaign, the 2020 election. The meeting happened at Clinton's home in Washington, D.C. Oh, can I get you something to drink? Joe, are you doing okay? Amy, how are you? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Madam Secretary is going to come on down in one second. Um, are you looking wonderful, Amy? Just want to tell you that. I feel your pain. Why did, why, this is CNN, Hillary Clinton met with Biden and Klobuchar on 2020, February 22nd, 2019. A week, a week or so later, uh, Amy Klobuchar uh, drops out of the race. Okay, so does that, that's CNN. I'm not making it up. Okay, so that tells you what? What does that tell you? Okay, I'm not making that up. That's a CNN article. Okay, Pete Buttigieg meets with Hillary Clinton, May 1st, 2019. Democratic, this is The Hill. Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg sat down with Hillary Clinton on Tuesday. Okay, uh, this is The Hill by Amy uh, uh, Parnes, May 1st, 2019. Buttigieg meets with Hillary Clinton. So tell me again how this, does this make sense to you? Does this, does this make sense to you? Okay. What does this tell you? You have a Senate investigation now. Senate GOP ramps up investigation as Biden surges. As Biden surges, this is the CNN, the Hill, as Biden surges, GOP Ukraine probe moves to the forefront. You're not talking about Hillary Clinton, who has James Comey and Peter Strzok protecting her. You're talking about they're going to, they're, they are more, the Democrats are more than willing to jettison Joe Biden. Joe Biden doesn't know where... Okay, you're talking about a person. You're talking about a lifelong politician who was vice president for eight years who never really, aside from being a senator, he tried to become president. And if he was running against another decent establishment candidate and there was no Bernie Sanders there, he wouldn't be able to defeat that decent establishment candidate. Okay, Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar. If you remove, if you remove a, a, a Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, who's there only to harm Bernie Sanders from the equation, Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar could give Biden a run for his money. Biden is a horrendous candidate. Okay, and you're talking about somebody who doesn't really know where he is half the time. This is not. He's not going to be nominee. There's no chance he's going to be nominee. Hillary Clinton is going to. She's continually continuously stated that she's been urged to run people want her to run she has the urge to defeat uh, 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 Trump again they complete they're all completely delusional I'm telling you this is happening when it happens I don't know she could come in a week um, a week before the the, the convention but well, you she you gonna they're gonna give her the nomination uh yeah they would they would and it'll take about a couple of days for the entire media and most of the Democratic Party to justify it and say this is our best candidate because technically Hillary look this might sound odd but Hillary Clinton is their best candidate and she's still open to running she has not stated she is categorically not running because she is running because she'll be the nominee. I know it sounds bizarre, but it's the truth. Why did Amy Klobuchar and Pete Buttigieg and Biden meet with Clinton? And Klobuchar and Biden meeting like a week and a half ago to talk about what? On what planet, by the way, also, can you imagine Hillary Clinton raising money for Joe Biden? Does that make sense to anyone? Think about that for a second. Does that make sense to anyone? So Biden's campaign is pretty much done. He's a surrogate for Clinton. He's running in place of Clinton. Okay, he's a placeholder. The, okay, Clinton would have defeated... They cheated Bernie Sanders again. The rules... Okay, when, when the Democrats say, oh, it's, this isn't rigged. Yeah, it was rigged. It was rigged. But the rules were in place to ensure Bernie couldn't win. That's why you have the nonsense with an app... In, in Iowa, different alignments and 15% uh, thresholds and superdelegates. You don't need superdelegates. I mean, the whole thing, Bernie Sanders was doing quite well with the popular vote. And, and so they, they obsess over the popular vote for three years. Then they want to do away with the Electoral College, knowing that the rules are the rules. 
But then when it comes to Bernie Sanders, <laughs> they they implement all these nonsensical irrational, oh, there's a 15% threshold, there's two rounds in the DNC. The whole point is to prevent a candidate like Bernie Sanders from winning. So that the rules themselves are rigged. Okay, doesn't matter if, whatever. D Debbie Wasserman Schultz was forced to resign. Just ask yourself that question if you don't think the whole thing's rigged. But anyway, the Burisma issue is huge. In addition to his, um, you're talking about somebody who's one beer short of a six-pack. The Burisma issue and the, <laughs> it's not even, it's not, it's like the, the, the slurred speech and the, the, you know, you don't know what's going on half the time when he speaks. So <laughs> they're not going with, it's the centennial of the 19th Amendment. You think they're going to go with Biden? Bernie is done. So Bernie is completely done. His campaign is done. And the level of contempt, they despise Bernie Sanders far more than they do Trump. And they much rather lose with Clinton than Biden. Give me your thoughts below. Check out H.A. Goodman's other channel right this second. If you want to support my voice long term, my Patreon link is below. Your support is greatly appreciated, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so very much.